I'm trying. Sajid, eh. I'm coming, sweet talk. Mm. 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 Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Bang. Whoa, wait, I was. I am you. I know, ready. I was saying the thing from the thing, though. I'm not actually ready. This How about now? Um. Yes. Alright. Bang. Needs knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife Kara. Hello. And we are finally checking out this Yo Jimbo. First, we're gonna do a couple shout outs where we got it from. We got it from our good buddy Bama Knife Guy, where we also got a couple other knives. We're finally getting these done. Uh, he's got some of our knives. If you don't know who he is, which you should, um, he's a good friend of ours. If you don't know who he is, your life is on the wrong track. Yeah. You need to get it together. He's a hilarious dude. Um, he has a YouTube channel and he's on Instagram mm -hmm. under Bama Knife Guy. I'll link those in the description so you can click right to them. I love watching his channel. He's a hilarious guy. Um, he's very generous and he's, he's really easy to listen to and um, just a great sense of humor. And like I said, you can't go wrong with him. I mean, watching his videos. I, I love watching his videos. He's, like I said, he's just so easy to watch and He's hilarious. Yeah. So, and like she was saying, why don't you tell me? Go ahead. Yeah, well, no, I was just going to say, you know, we want to start spreading the love a little bit beyond just the people who um, support our channel in the form of borrowing or gifting content and knives. That's not the only thing that we care about. Uh, we care about this community in general. So we want to start drawing people's attention to maybe a newer or lesser known channel that we really like. So this week, we want to shout out Jersey Knife Guy. Yes. Dude Jer is hilarious okay he just is. it had to be it's jersey you can't not hilarious say guy i love look, every time i see him upload a video i get excited i watch it he's hilarious not to um, mention he's my number his one rants fan. are just um if you're listening to this jersey your rants are hilarious i love listening to you and uh, we always watch each other's content so we do support each other which is awesome and yeah check his channel out so I'm he gonna does link. not get as much love as he should no i think some people got a problem with just the way he thinks things and how could you ever like give somebody crap about just you know like giving their thoughts and like what they think about stuff. i mean it's his opinion who cares if it's not your opinion and it's he's his got opinion. his opinions but you. he's never ever judged us for ours even never. if they're not the same right. so i i really like him and i think part of this community is about all of the different opinions like i could have gotten hate for not so much really liking the sabenza the first time i touched it but you know what? i got like five or six people in the comments who actually agreed with me so well, um, they agree with no they you agreed? didn't read them yet okay i gotta show well you they yet. at least agreed that they'd rather you they be agreed honest. that they were overly hyped on it but that doesn't matter anyway anyway so go check, check out jersey out. knife guy i'm gonna link him in the description please give him a sub this man deserves it he's hilarious and okay. uh also and informative all right, All right so, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, sorry, so sorry, 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 sorry. Look at my journal. It's <laughs> secretive. Okay. All right, tell them what you're going to do. All right, so today we're going to do things a little bit different. Rather than just blabbing on doing a review, we're kind of going to do a q and I'm going to interview Jared here about this knife. Um, we have one little thing before that, but just for the uh, interview that we're kind of going to do here, we're going to go through a couple categories of questions, and then ultimately we're going to kind of see if his expectations were met by the knife because he had been wanting this for a while and finally got to check it out. But anyway, first, an but first, EDC tool you should get. Did I see the thunder? You read the notebook. I didn't read it. I, re I really didn't. I, I'm blind. This tool right here, you can get this at Home Depot. This is not sponsored, but everybody should have one of these. I have another one right here. I have a bunch of them. And this tool right here, like I said, you can get it at Home Depot, but I'm sure she'll throw in a link below. Yeah, where... I'll put an affiliate link. If you guys click those, that really helps us but out. The back pops off. All the other bits, it goes from a 4 to a 15. And all the rest of them go in the back here. And then while you have it in your hand, it spins. So it's really easy to use. And these bits are actually they're really good. strong. Yeah, they're hardened really good. Way better than a lot of I've the other bits I've only stripped, I, I think, one of them. And actually, I don't think it was that I th It was because of the Loctite. Yeah. But Weeha is probably a little stronger because they're thicker and bigger. Cool. These are the little ones. Weeha? Wee Weeha, yeah. But these, for how small they are, these things are awesome and they work great. You got to get yourself one, so check it out. If, and they said they're only like 7 bucks, and they're probably even cheaper on Amazon, so you got to get them. Got a bunch of them. All right. 
All right. Let's move on here. So we're going to start our moving interview. On. And do not worry, we will eventually get closer up to this knife. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so don't worry about squinting the whole time. Okay, so let's start. What are we starting with? We are going to start with size comparisons. Okay, let's switch you guys So I'm going to actually you guys switch on. that angle right now. All right, bang. Bang. All right, guys, time for some size comparisons. Um, Actually, one of the videos we saw about Bama Knife Guy, he was talking about how he learned a tip from somebody else about doing size comparisons this direction. Um, Being that I'm perfectly on top, we're going to keep it this way for now, but I think we might use that uh, tip there in the future, so thanks for that, Bama. Anybody right. who knows this knife knows that sound? There it is. We're going to start off with some USA made knives. So we're going to go USA. pivot to pivot on this. USA. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get. Uh, where did it go? Don't you do, you. do I have it? The big grip? Yeah. Oh. Well, baby, you're shitting on me. Okay, uh, we found it. And the big grip. In between a sandwich and the mini grip. It's a grip tilling sandwich. All my edges. It looks very nice too. This is a good size comparison, actually. It is about the size. Have you been saying the names of everything? Oh my god. Alright. Mini Griptilian Benchmade. Big Griptilian Benchmade. Buck Marksman. And then the Buck Marksman. Sorry about that, guys. Was the first one. And then this is a Kershaw bear or Kershaw knockout and I always will link all the knives that appear in our videos um, straight to this some more of our affiliate links that is the Kershaw bare knuckle so if the knives are available on Amazon I'll always throw a link in there and if not I'll give you a link where you can find okay. it I'm going to throw just a couple more to click this is the Kershaw leak it's gonna make me do a million links and I want to do one more that is not USA made but th because I'm going to use it in this uh, video as a reference of something. So Kaiser Rogue. Okay. Now we are going to start talking. So. Okay. Just for starters, I just want to say again that I'm going to have this knife, the Yojimbo 2, linked below. If you want to check out the uh, details and specifications on this knife, go ahead and click on that link as well. I'll leave the Amazon and the Blade HQ so you can get uh, full specs. All right, baby, what's the first question you got? All right, so first of all, what do you think of the handle materials and what do you think their uses are for? The handle materials is G10. Um, it does have steel liners, so it's really strong. It's good for, for work, for hard use, and no... Um, not getting scratches on your knife. It's you know waterproof. It's uh, just weatherproof, and it's just a good all-around material, good for for just about anything. So, it's good for a knife that you don't want to have to worry about. That's very very true. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Any other thoughts on material? I mean, what about other materials, or do we want to just? This keep is the S30V. This is a worn cliff blade. Um, actually, I do want to talk about something with the Warren Cliff. Um, because the Warren Cliff is good for, for ED, a lot of people like to use it for EDC. You know, there's a lot of blade shapes that, you know, everybody uses for different things. And the Warren Cliff has just been, you know, for the past couple of years, at least, a lot of people, I've always loved them, but a lot of people have been liking them more and more because they found out how good they are for EDC. I've always loved them. Because you since I grew up, clips before they were cool. That's what before you're they to say. were cool. Yeah, because <laughs> I always found the use in them because of the razor blade. Oh. Um, the razor blade is you know basically like a razor blade, just bigger. And when you got this in a blade, you only have about an inch out, so you can't do much slicing with it. And if you have anything thicker than that, it's hard. You know what are you gonna do? I mean, you can pop it out a little bit farther, but not much farther. So having a good worn cliff in construction or just you know anything where you're gonna need precision. And you also want to be able to slice. This blade is awesome for. It also is a lot like the the Kaiser Rogue. And, and now that new Ant Eater too. Yeah, that new Ant Eater too. And also, if you look at the the Kershaw Leak, this has a similar blade too. And I mean, this thing is a laser. This is very a very tall blade and you got this hollow grind that gets down to a very 
thin blade so i mean you can do some real work with this and even though it's pretty thin it's stable so it's very strong it does have a very thin tip so you can uh you want to be careful with the tip but that's what it's for it's for nice precision i'm going to take out a couple pieces of cardboard really quick and just give you a, just a little, little show yeah. and you can score something very easily and it or if you want to it can also be a good slicer so do that one more the, time you get the best can you see it mm -hmm. you get the best of both worlds out of it which is awesome and also the the kershaw bare knuckle you get a little bit of that too it's a different blade shape Sheep's but foot. you get it's still a sheep's foot um oh it's a sheep's foot sheep's foot warm for a lot of like but you get a lot of the same attributes out of it. you got a precision blade because the, the tip is pointing down but you got good slicing with it and um the you know, was just it's this blade shape is awesome for for utility use construction and edc all at once so if you're that type of person i mean anybody can carry it but it's especially good for for somebody you know whatever anyways um so what about let's let's consider materials as um as a, like fit and finish as well so how do you feel about the hardware on it uh clip material size of the hardware i like the hardware the hardware can you hold it up like it looks t10 like a 10 and t8s all the way around i love i hate t6s so yeah, it's you're awesome a t6 hater yeah so t8s all the way around and a t10 pivot love it love it love it and the fit and finish is awesome it's really good actually i mean this thing's locked up like a rock what about jimping uh, there's really no jimping on it. Isn't there some kind of behind the? Uh, I guess the you could consider this jimping right there. Does it, it does. Is it useful? Yeah, it's definitely useful a little bit, but I find myself wanting to to hold it like this. But I guess if you're slicing like that, I guess you know there's a little bit. It does it does catch you a little bit. Okay. But it's a G10 handle, so it's already textured. So you already got grip. Right, so that that kind of was a little bit into my next question, which was my fault for bleeding into it, but it was going to be about the clip and the grip. So you really just sort of answered that, but let's get deeper into the clip. Okay. What do the you think clip, about the clip in your pocket? The is clip it is not deep at all. I mean, you see how much is hanging out, but it's a tip, Can you though. get that uh, spider, that lynch clip on this knife? Yeah, I think they sell another. I don't know if they sell actually one for this. They probably do, but you only have... A little tip hanging out and since all this is so wide down Just your pocket tip. it's not that big of a deal but the grip on it i do feel it in my hand it doesn't bother me really but i could see it bothering some people you do feel it in almost every position what about a left-handed grip left-handed grip my hand kind of it does feel a lot, little bit better but you know what my pointer kind of runs into this right here but you know what no matter what if you have a pocket knife you're gonna have a clip so yeah what the hell you're gonna have to deal with it a little bit all right um let's move on to action so talk about maybe the the locking mechanism how that action is all that stuff what do you the think about action it? is great and also in this part i want you to tell me as well how does it compare to what you thought it would be like from when you saw it online? Well, you know, I'd already messed with the PM2s and stuff like that. So, you know, I already knew the the, eh, the compression lock. So it was basically just the blade shape in the hand I was really worried about. So it definitely, you know, stood up to what I thought it was going to be. I really like it. The action's very, I think the action is a little good. different from the PM2. Would you agree? It's, I think the PM2 comes out a little easier. Um, this I one has a little bit that. more of like an oomph. It almost feels like a detent in a way. Well, that can just be from which one's used more and stuff like True. that. This thing's got great action. It's nice and crisp. Like you can thumb it very easily. You can middle finger it's very super easy. Crisp. It takes a little bit of um, like if you're not used to doing middle finger flicks, it might be because it does have a, a mm -hmm. not a. I'm not gonna say strong detent. I'm gonna say perfect for me because I think it's nice and crisp, but. It's stronger than some I have felt, but I love the action. It's very clicky and well, clicky in a good way. Like, listen, right here, yeah. very I mechanical. Love that. Yeah, I love that. Goes love along with the sound. utility theme. But what about the compression lock? As far as um, like when you open it, it goes a it, wide in the pocket, though. 
I just want to see if you have, <clears throat> does the blade hit you as you it's mean? closing? You know how sometimes on compression locks, the blade will come oh, back no, and hit no, your finger out of the I way? I will say, though, when you're holding it, if you're squeezing the back of the knife, when you deploy it like that, mm -hmm. sometimes this can just pinch it. It doesn't hurt, but you feel it, and you know, okay. you, got, you, know you got pinched a little bit. But mm -hmm. you learn to avoid it, though, so it's not a big deal. Okay, really quick before we continue with our little uh, Q&A here, I just want to show um, a couple aspects of the knife. So you have this uh, really nice deep hollow grind happening here, nice wedge feel because it's super hollow, very, very slicey. Um, I'm very surprised they didn't make this a flat grind. I'm very glad it's hollow. I'm super glad it's a hollow. Yeah, I, I know you I wouldn't even are. like it as much as I do if it wasn't a hollow. I love it. And then you can see the liners are, are kind of inlaid into there. There is a liner on the top half, but you just can't see it. You can really only see it where the compression lock is from this view here. There's a shot of your standoffs. This one does not have that traditional lanyard hole thing that uh, like the PM2 and PM3 have, but the spidey hole, I would say, is about the same same exact size there. Uh, so that's a little close-up. Anything else I should show before we um, scoot no, back? I do want to say, though, this knife was originally, I know I said how good it is for utility use and construction this knife was originally made for self-defense and so um i want to talk about it as a tool not as a self-defense item but th there wasn't a, this is the ojimbo 2 there's the ojimbo 1 which it was hilarious a, which was originally <laughs> made specifically for self-defense so i'm not going to talk about that i'm going to talk about it as a tool so just so you guys do know though the, the design was around a uh, self-defense item okay all right so i'm going to come back in here and we're going to finish this thing up okay all right so what I got a question ha. for you what's something you have done with this knife okay all right me and Bama talked and I said that I, I wouldn't really it. use the knives uh, that uh, he sent too much but I did want to get um, a good feel you know he just said just don't you know be hard on the knives you know obviously you know we we have respect with each other when we borrow each other knives you know we trust that the person's going to treat it like its own his own knife or at least treat it like he's borrowing somebody else's you know True. you don't beat on the knives or anything like that well i brought it to work because i did want to get at least one day of use i haven't carried it much i'll be honest i haven't carried it i haven't used it that much but i did want to use it at least one time so i carried it to work not expecting to to really use it much that day, I was just going to cut a couple pieces of cardboard and it wound up being a full day of work that I had to use my knife for. I did bring another knife, but it was another knife I was reviewing and it was 8CR. So the steel went dull pretty quick and I had to use this knife. So I did use it. Um, it was on plastic. It's kind of, I, it's kind of goofy to talk about and explain what I had to do there. But it kind of chews up an edge pretty quickly. I wasn't hard on the edge or anything like that. But it did make it to where I got to use it. I got to cut up some cardboard. I loved it. And I had to sharpen it, resharpen it. Because when he sent it, he sent it with a pristine edge. Like I had talked about that um, in the unboxing. But yeah, so, and I did have to redo it. And man, this thing... It's got a crispy edge. I, I, I loved sharpening it. And if you guys know anything about sharpening, um, worn cliffs are really easy to sharpen. Yeah, because perfectly. you can keep it nice and flat on the stone the whole time and do one side than the other. You don't have to do the lift. Well, I <sighs> Pete from uh, Cedric and Ada mentioned that uh how do you know if some i thought this was hilarious how do you know if somebody is uh um you know hand sharpens and the answer is, is because they'll tell you and it's kind of funny because it's true. true it's so true and the reason why though is because when the difference between using a fixed system and doing it by right. hand on stones it just there's something with you're just it more badass you're so i you're so much more like uh like at the end, you feel more accomplished. It's so like the difference between hand making something and yes. using a machine. Yes. So, so yeah, we get it. And yeah, and it's just something. I don't think it's something like you're like you're all proud of doing it, but it's you're proud. You work. You, I guess you are. It is a proud thing. Something wrong with but that. But anyway, so yeah, when you, I did hand sharpen it, 
And um, so you've used it for cutting plastic and cardboard, and you've sharpened it. So yeah, and I sharpened some it. Decent, uh, and I carried it for a bit. So not not crazy time, but I did get the good feel of it, and I, okay, I like it. I want you to be very precise about this. Don't look at my notebook. I can't read that shit from here anyway. Yes, you can. I, All right. How does it make you feel? How does the knife make me feel? Yeah, like in here, in here. Um, in here and down I'll here. tell you, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. It makes me feel prepared. It makes me feel like I have a Ooh, knife that I, can, that I could leave the house with, and I don't have to be worried about having another knife with me because I know whatever comes my way, I can accomplish with this knife. Okay. I know I can do precision work, slicing work, and I don't have to worry about being too hard on it because of the... The body, you know, the, the scales, you know, mm -hmm. you don't, they won't stain. It's got a pretty stain. thick stock, too. It's yeah. very nice and thick. It, and it's comfortable in the hand, so I, I feel very uh, secure carrying okay. something like this. But how does it make you feel in here? I just told you. No, you said here. That was logic. How does it make you feel in here when you hold it, when you what's open a, it? What's a good answer for that? When you get that? to spend time with it. What's a good answer for that? You tell me. Uh, Think down here. I told <laughs> <laughs> um, it makes me feel all warm inside. No, I, I, I enjoy it. I do like it. I, like I said, I feel, I feel prepared. I feel prepared. Is it fun to fit? Is it a fun knife? I've been do fidgeting you... this whole time. Yeah, there ain't Obviously. nothing wrong with a little fidgeting. Obviously. Okay, all right. But as a user, it's a very good user. I like it. And anybody who uh, is looking to get one and wants to get one, you should. It's a, it's a good price. For this, I think what are they? 140, right? 140. Do not throw up on the screen. I don't know. I think 140. They're definitely a good price. Very good price. Okay. For this. Ah, you my funny bone. Oh, baby, That's it's not, not that funny. funny. It's not that funny. <laughs> my pinky's numb. Okay. I oh, barely baby. tapped it. Okay? I barely tapped it. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. Here's here's the big one. So you you wanted this when it first came out. I remember yeah, I still want you, it. you was lost in heart. I still want it. I know it's not yours. So but uh you've at least gotta to touch it. So from your experience with the Hyot Jimbo 2, would you say your expectations are met? And if so, how were they met? Why my were they expectations met? were met because This is how you always imagined it like when you saw Yeah, it? it was actually a little bit better because the hollow grind because I was I had heard in a video that the that it wasn't that thin behind the edge or something. Yeah, it I, is though. It is. It's pretty thin behind the edge. So, I mean, I like it. I was very surprised about how much thinner it was behind the edge, and I thought the tip is very uh, tippy. It you definitely the got tip is very the tippy. tip is very tippy. It's very pointy. You do have to be careful with it. I would yeah. say don't go scraping concrete with the tip, but. I enjoy, and like I said, I enjoy a knife like that because I like to work with utility-like blades. Like, don't get me wrong, like, um, working with this, these type of blade shapes since the tip points down. I just ring finger opened it, sorry. perfect for that me. That was awesome. You know, like with the big grips, yeah, the tip's pointing down. That's yeah. a good blade shape for me to work with. And so I really like that. You know, this is a hell of a work knife. I love working with this knife. And we're, we're going to do a review on this soon. Since that Fire Ant is out, this is the Fire Ant Killer. You know, let me Ooh, tell you. don't know that yet. It's a tiny bit bigger, and it's more badass. Okay, Anyways. I just have to say something. I can almost open this knife with every single finger. I just did the pinky. I can do them all. Dumb. You're going to be impressed. Pointer. With knife. Middle. Ring! Don't do it with your pinky. I just did! Oh! Come on, guys. Hold on. Pinky! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't think you'd be able to either because it does, it is crisp. Like it has I've a, never done that before. A very crisp action, but it's it's definitely smooth. It's nice. That was it's pretty got that, cool. It's got that feeling where, just like with the PM2 stuff, like you put in pressure, you put in pressure, you put in pressure, and then bang, it yeah, launches. Yeah, it's not like one of those, like, that's why I can actually do it with every finger is because there is a little resistance, so it gives it that momentum to fling open. All right, before... Like when what, you do what? something like this, I was just saying, oh, when you okay. do something like this, it has it doesn't have that crisp Yeah, it just break. comes out. This one's more of a... Um, slow rolling. It's not more slow roll. Like, you can you know easily, like, you... See how fast that fires out, but it's more, it gives you a little bit of resistance to right here, and then it breaks right, right there, because it's an access lock. This has the detent, so it's a, a break 
from the start. Do okay. you understand what that means? From a closed position, that's where it has the action. You put the pressure and it breaks from there. The access lock has a break from like right here. Yeah. Anyway. All right, well, um, my very last question was, is there anything you want the people to know about this knife? But for the most part, I think, I think we, we told actually them answered everything. all that. I think so, we told them everything. Um, the only thing I would say you need to know, even get though, it. yeah, <laughs> I was sad. this isn't my interview, but I'm going to ask myself, and I would say definitely get one, and use our links to do it. Yeah, use the links. Okay, all right, anything else? I think Sweet that's talk? about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you made it to the end. We Hashtag a, EDC Burrito. We got a lot of videos that we got coming up this week. We have a lot to get done. So sorry if we make some of them quick because we are trying to bust them out. Peace.